army is really good on telling you exactly how to get promoted, how to get the maximum number of points, or how to get number one against your peers. Yet, time and time again, year over year, we get frustrated that we didn't make it. You already have the answers to the test, but why are we frustrated when we didn't get promoted? I guess you don't want to get promoted, and that's fine too. I've seen people like that. But in this video, we're going to talk about what are the answers to the test? How do you get yourself ahead from everybody else so you can get promoted? Because promotions, besides the responsibility that you get the spear of influence it's also financial if you're married it's gonna drastically help your family putting more food on the table from the enlistment process i made a video about how to get promoted before you even ship out for training click right here if you want to watch that video i suggest watch this entire video first and then come right back to, to that link there are ways to get promoted before you even ship out and then after you ship out there's also different ways to get promoted ahead of everybody else ahead of what the army regulation says which can be waived to get you promoted faster as you make your way to become a sergeant from e4 to e5 and a sergeant to staff sergeant the army tells you specifically what are the areas of emphasis you need to be doing it tells you specifically and how many points you get if you do certain things for example military education it tells you the maximum points on your promotion worksheet civilian education awards and so on and so forth every single one of those areas have a specific maximum points that you can get out of now yes some MOS's which is small density MOS's might not promote as fast as others so what they do is they put their ceiling high so they can only select those few that are actually using the cheat code to get promoted but the ones that maybe don't care or too lazy they're not gonna get promoted as you move on to become a senior nto which is sergeant first class and then sergeant first class to master sergeant and master sergeant to sergeant major you're no longer competing for points it's not just a promotion point system a lot of it is your evaluation and specifically your senior rater comments because the army promotes using your potential so your rater rates you with your past performance your senior rater Rater focuses if you have the ability, the technical knowledge, the experience, and the potential to we serve on a higher level than what you're currently that doing right to now. Be That's it. It's very simple. But don't take it the wrong way that your rater comments doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because what influences the senior rater? It's your senior rater comments. I'm going to give you a very obvious example. If you're not performing really well in your current performance, your current eval, what makes you think that your senior rater might give you a higher potential of promotion if you can't even perform your current task or role? It's obvious, but not everybody gets it. Now, it might not be as simple as that because the biggest problem that I see is for that senior rater to give the MQ, which is the holy grail. What happens on those boards when they're looking at the records of all the staff sergeants or all the sergeants first class or the first sergeants even to go to the next level, your NCUR, your evaluation report is heavily looked upon. And then from there, they take other things into consideration, such as if you're a commandant's list, if you have an MSM, if you have a bachelor's degree, all that stuff matters. But the one that carries the most weight is your evaluation report. Besides the MQ, you also want to have enumeration. Enumeration basically racks and stack you against everybody else that are competing to get the number one spot from your senior rater. So if there's 100 of you, 5 of you, 10 of you, doesn't matter you're shooting for number one. On the last board evaluation last year, a lot of the people that got most qualified were top one to three. So those are the spots you're looking for. Now I get it, it's easier said than done. Yes, but how do you get there? Besides performance. Performance, that's on your own. Depending on your job, you gotta perform. One thing about performance you gotta understand is that your rater more than likely works with you on a day-to-day -day basis. The hard part is the senior rater because the senior rater is more than likely a battalion commander or somewhere up there, which is two levels up. That's the biggest challenge you're gonna have is how to get number one, two, or three with your senior rater and get you an MQ. There's only one thing you wanna do. You have 
to talk to your senior rater. You have to schedule a time. Sir, ma'am, can I be placed in your calendar to talk about counseling? Regulatory guidance would tell you that you got to be counseled, one, for your initial counseling for the first 30 days, and after that, every quarter to evaluate your performance and your potential. Now, imagine if you actually reached out to whoever your senior rater is. Once you sit down with your senior rater, he's going to tell you his rating philosophy and you'll have that conversation and you can actually tell him your intent. You can articulate that properly. Whether you want to stay 20 years, you want to get promoted to master sergeant, sergeant major, whatever the case may be. But that sends a clear message to your senior rater that you care about your career, that you want to perform. That goes a long way. And then you have to ask questions. Ask questions like, where do I rank right now? If my NCUR is due today, how would you rank me against everybody else that you're senior rating? Now, you might not like to answer, but it's an answer nevertheless that you can act on. For example, if you're in a 50% mark or even in bottom half, then your next question should be, what are those number one, number two, or those top performers doing that I could be doing? A lot of times they ask you, do you have any more questions? And a lot of time, no, sir, ma'am, I'm good. You're ready to rock and roll. No, ask one question. I urge you to ask this one question that will set the tone. What can I do to be number one? And most of the time, they don't even know the answer. Or maybe they do, but not like itemizing exactly what number one really looks like. Try those things and see if you get a better shot next year, if you're on the senior evaluation boards, when it comes to junior NCOs, dude, the answers are there. Just get the point. Separate yourselves from everybody else by spending time to develop yourselves. Because a lot of those areas that you can get promotion points on, a lot of it is self-development. If you look, physical fitness, military awards, civilian education, military school, all of those really is self-development through institutional and organizational ways of learning. Now, when you get to those senior NCO level, which you get a different NCOER, those are now performance-based and also potential-based, taking everything you learned as far as self-development in your earlier on in your NCO career and your soldier life put into action. This channel, I'm able to start a membership. So if you're interested in becoming a member, I'm gonna share you my information. We can FaceTime, you can text me on iMessage if you have any questions whatsoever so you have direct access. And also, as a member, we'll have a feed on there. We're creating this entire society of leaders so we can share our thoughts and our experiences. So consider that. You'll see the membership down below. Stay new so you can be better off than the other person. Have that mentality of the new guy. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Sometimes I wanna be on my own